All right, students, so here we go. So welcome back. Now I've got all of my pieces cut out of my square in the middle. They're all going to be mirrored on the outside edges. And so what that means is they're gonna be symmetrical. You'll see the shape and then right where the edge of the square is, is where the line of symmetry will be for those shapes. And then you put the outside shape and you trace all around everything, okay? So at this point, you should have every single line traced, all the inside shapes and all the outside shapes. So if you have all that finished, okay, and then you lay it all back together, it'll look like this. That's your asymmetrical composition. Remember, we can't cut this straight down the middle, it can't fold up and it won't match each other. Now, you're gonna get rid of all of it. So push it to the side and let's start finishing our artwork. The whole idea here is contrast, black and white. And so what we're gonna do is anything that's inside of the square that is not a shape is going to be black. So take your time and do really nice crisp edges on all of your shapes before you start filling everything in. You want nice, really well-defined lines. Okay? And then you can fill in an area after you have that in. But I always suggest making sure that you come right against your line and fill it in really nice and dark. Okay? And then fill in the large areas. So you can see, now that I've done that, I've got this whole area that I can just come in and quickly scribble in black. Just like this. Yet again, take your time on these projects. You do have a few weeks to complete them. They are not required to be finished just in a week's time or in one sitting. You can take your time and just have some fun with this. Okay, so I filled all this area in. Now let's talk about what we're gonna do with the outside shapes. The outside shapes, we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna make sure that we leave this all white and this is gonna be black. So come on in to the edge of your trace line and also the edge of your square. Take your time on this. Make it look super straight. And then you can fill in the outside of it completely. Okay? So now I'm going to fill it all in. I did make a little mistake there. It's going to happen sometimes. You can always use an eraser to take care of that. Pencil is great for that. Just know that if you're using marker, that it is much more difficult to correct your mistakes on this project. Okay. And there we go. So that's what you're going to continue to do. You are going to color around all your shapes on the inside of your square. And then you're going to fill in your shapes on the outside. Make sure you make that nice, well-defined line on the outside edges when you do your shapes so that it's nice and straight. You can still see your, your square intact when this all is done. And you're gonna have yourself a really cool composition and a really cool piece of art. Okay, so that's it for now. I'm going to finish mine. I will post a picture for you to look at. And so you can uh, use it as an example. Good luck. Have fun, guys.